Now, you say you're not specifically targeting the London Marathon, that is Extinction Rebellion's uh, declaration today, along with everything else. So, simple question, why not hold your protests on a different Sunday? Um, I mean, we're not targeting the marathon, it's that simple. That This is a, a completely diversionary question. We, we are planning on Sunday to, to hand out as many flyers and things like that as possible and engage with the public in a constructive way, but we've been in discussions with authorities for months to make sure that, that what we do doesn't disrupt the marathon in any way. So, so that's very much not the plan this Sunday. Um, we are we are there with with hundreds of other organisations, in fact, including many prominent ones like Greenpeace and Friends of the Earth. I'm afraid I can't hear you. I can see your mouth moving. I can now see two of me. Hello, hello. Thousand people to central London. You're bringing thirty thousand people to Parliament Square. The London Marathon is on the Mall. That's two or three hundred yards away. You're going to end up causing some disruption. So my question again: Just do it on a different Sunday. No, we're not. We're not. I mean, it, it, well, you are. We, we could we could be doing an action to disrupt the, the marathon. We're very much not. Like I say, we've engaged with authorities over the months to make sure that it doesn't happen. This is a complete diversion. I would much rather talk to you about why we're doing these crucial protests, and that's to draw attention to the fact that our government, like most of the governments around the world, are completely failing to take the advice of their own scientists in terms of what has to be done to ensure a chance of a livable future for our children. You know, this is this is not hyperbole, this is not rhetoric, this is what the mainstream intergovernmental science is telling us. OK, um, you, 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 you've were, explained... They were you, doing their job, we yeah. didn't have to be... Never. You've explained that, but I do want to get back to the point, I, I gave you a chance to talk there, I do want you to get back to the point that you are going to disrupt something this summer, and we can argue about the marathon for the rest of the night, but let's not. Now, if you do disrupt the marathon, which everyone is running to raise a lot of money for charity, do you not think you stand a chance of alienating an awful lot of people to your cause? I'm not going to talk about this anymore. Like we have, as I say, we've engaged with the authorities for months to make sure that what we do does not disrupt the marathon. That's not what we're there for. We happen to have planned this a long, long time ago, um, exercising our crucial democratic rights. And they are crucial democratic rights because they have been central to winning all the progress that has happened in the last 200 years is also a, an important thing. You know, you might say the marathon is a very important thing to be able to, be able to do. I've done a marathon myself. Um, we are doing something very important as well, and we are making sure that we're not going okay. to disrupt that. So please, can we actually talk about why we're there? Because it's desperately, desperately important. I'm the father of two children. No, and I, as I say, I the intergovernmental science itself um, says that unless radical action is taken, yeah. that the governments are failing to take at the moment, including our own, we face an incredibly bleak future. OK, and, and that's the second time, reason, George, that's the second it. time I've, I've allowed you to make that point. But, but let's have a conversation in which we get to talk to each other. What are you going to do I, if the I, I, George? Can I, can I here comes a question. Line, so here comes a question. What are you going to do if the government ignores your deadline on Monday, which it is most likely going to do? What sort of protests will we see? Well, we announced, um, I mean, fairly prominently on the first of January that we were that we were quitting um, action that was that was. Um, significantly disrupting the public in the short term in order to, to try and create a much a much broader church of people coming together um, in, in, in response partly to the criticism that we've had of, of disrupting the public and so we're trying to do we're trying to do something very sensible, which is bring together a huge range of organisations, which are not just environmental organisations, it's unions, it's faith groups, it's NHS workers, it's all sorts of people that share the the, the the very obvious concern that we should all have for, for a decent future. Um, and what we're doing as part of this four days of, of these many organisations coming together is okay. trying to work out a plan of action in terms of what we have to do if the government doesn't respond to the incredibly, incredibly simple preliminary demand which we have, okay. which is stop expanding new fossil fuels. And I should stress, any of your viewers is not okay, aware of Okay, this, you, I, I, the, I, I did make that, was, George, I did it, make that point. I, I've already explained it, to the viewers it, it, what your demand is, but I just want to put one final question to you. Please, please if, Tom, can I just make no, the no, point? George, I've got to ask the questions. Really... This is how it works. You've, you've, yes, you've had a lot of time I, to I'm speak. The answer Let... to your question. Okay, it's a George, very crucial... can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Last yeah. question, I promise. You've had a long time to speak. I'm not cutting you off. I do want to ask you this. The Tory MP and former Security Minister, Sir John Hayes, you might or might not have heard of him, he called Extinction Rebellion this, an extreme cultural and political group who are fueled by ignorance and an arrogant determination to take the future. Now... Who's to say whether he is right or not? But there is one thing that is true about all this which you and I must agree on, and that is you are a minority attempting to impose your will on the majority. 
My question to you is, what gives you the right to do that? We're, we're not. And um, the reason I was trying to finish the point that I was making previously is that I was making the point that it's not Extinction Rebellion saying this. It's not us imposing our will. All we're trying to do is get the government to do what its own advisers have said is absolutely necessary to have a chance of a decent future for our children. Now, you quote a Conservative MP. Of course, he's going to have his own particular, very partisan views. Extinction Rebellion has taken a lot of flack, in fact, um, for, for not for not taking a more political stand. We are, we are very much non-party political, unlike you know, partisan Conservative MPs, like I say, all we're asking is that the governments respond to the intergovernmental scientific advice that they have received in terms of what must be okay. done to, to make sure of a decent future for our children. That is okay. not unreasonable.